a huge fan of uh, regulatory sandboxes that want to include online demogra or demographics. So some people have argued me that about this. Well, do you want you know, tech companies to know that you're an African-American woman and you know, your age and stuff like that? And I tell people, if it leads to anti-bias experimentation, if it's something that the government and industry has actually collaborated on, because as a person of color, there have been historical instances where my healthcare data has been used and exploited without my knowledge and without being transparent and induced disease upon my people versus actually uh, eradicating it. But I think we need to do something because I honestly don't want the internet to infer who I am to actually place me into a box where even if I get a predatory credit card advertising, because there's no counterfactual options that are available to me, I still keep clicking that 39% credit card because that's the algorithm that's being served to me. So I'm a huge fan of trying to figure out ways we could actually create for research and development, uh, new innovative products and services that actually can help, you know, as opposed to hinder progress when it comes to reducing barriers to entry as the internet has actually been able to do for certain communities as long as it's in partnership with government and we're clear about the use and the time that we're actually deploying these sandboxes. So that's, again, we think on the, on, you know, online proxies do not work. They stereotype.